Now we will make the partitions inside of the slice. In this menu, you use the C button to create a new partition. But before we do that, I'm going to give some explanation here. Here you can see the disk AD0, the partition name, but you should think of it as the slice name. So AD0 slice 1. So we have the amount of data, how much we have on the disk 3. And this is a 20 gigabyte disk emulation I made. So um, now we continue. We're going to make our first partition. So if I make a first partition here, where on the physical disk will it be? The explanation is as following. The first partition made will be... Um, I can make an explanation that the hard disk drive that looks like a box inside of the computer has disks inside. So they are rotating disks. And this is an image to illustrate the disk when you look at it from above. So the road partition, the first partition you make will end up on the other edge here. The edge, I mean. Um, so the more most out on the disk. This is the road. The reason why I put the road first is that if you imagine that this disk is rotating, the more you get go outward from the center, the bigger circle you get. The bigger the circle is, the more area is uh, passing for each rotation and this will means that on the other uh, on the outer edge here edge here there is much more quicker data reading and writing than it is compared in here the closer the middle the slower so for this reason we want to have the partitions that needs most speed to have them most out and um, in my setup I want the road partition that is marked as this, like a slash. I want it to be 512 megabyte. That's enough. So let's make our road partition. The road partition will contain the kernel, uh, the home account for the road user, and it also contains the road utilities that you need, uh, for example, when you need to make a boat in single user mode. So to create the road partition, <clears throat> you press the C button. And here we have to select the amount of data. We take 512 and you put an M to make megabyte and press OK. This menu will always arrive for each time you make a partition. This asks if we want to make a file system or a swap. We want to make a file system, so select the first option FS. Now the, the mounting point for this partition. A mount point is the point you access the partition inside. We will put an, another tutorial about how to mount file system and this will be that will be more easier understood when this is seen, how it functions. But the route always begins with a slash in the beginning. And press OK. We made our route partition that is on the, the most out on the disk where it's the quickest rotation. And this partition is the first one. You can see the partition here the character A. So AD0 is the disk, S1 is the slice 1, and A is the partition. Road partitions are always given A. Now we need to make a swap. Swap is used for the system when it runs out of memory. When a system runs out of memory, it needs to put, uh, and then I mean the virtual memory, the random access memory where programs are being loaded. When, when this is not enough on the system, it puts the data that is lesser used on the random access memory, on the raw memory, it puts it on the swap partition to free more space for the ROM. And there is one thing you should know about the swap, that if you search for how much swap should I take, 
Uh, old wisdom knowledge says that two or three times as the uh, the amount of raw memory. Well, I believe that this is my opinion, and I will explain my arguments for why not to make bigger than one gigabyte of swap. The following reasons are that you will end up if you have six gigabyte RAM, you will end up with twelve gigabyte if you make twice size for the swap partition, and Imagine if you run an AMD 64 system that if you get a program that behaves uh, badly, that makes an infinite loop and begins to fill data, the kernel will fill the entire 6 gigabyte of ROM and then it begins to fill the 12 gigabyte of swap before it stops the program. So this can put the system unresponsible, uh, not responding, I mean. It, so it can put the system to not respond for a long time if an error occur. Um, and then there is also note that the swap, if the system crash, it will put the data from the random access memory to the swap partition. Uh, since FreeBSD7, it makes a mini kernel dump. So the mini dump made is around that it will not be bigger than one gigabyte but a mini dump is the amount of data that has been uh, inside of the amount of page files used by the kernel will be put in the uh, in the swap space and you can then extract it uh, later to know what was going wrong but in this is my opinion I only put one gigabyte of swap it has been functioning well on my systems so if you want to put a double size, you can do it also. So let's make a swap that is one gigabyte in this case. You press C and then you select one G and then you press return. Then instead of file system, you take the swap. You can see that this partition is giving the character B and it's a swap type. The swap partition is always B and root is always A. Uh, you will not get any C partition, it's not the next one. The C points to the entire slice. So the other ones will be D, E, F, G, H, etc. And you can have eight partitions inside of uh, uh, each slice. So now we want to make the, the other partitions. We've been making the rote and the swap. It is these two, two rings there. Now we want to make the temporary. What is a temporary? The temporary is the partition, or if you don't put any temporary partition, the temporary will be inside of the rote partition, this one, if you don't make this one. And the temporary is the the global place on your system where all temporary data is being written can be written by such as programs from all users like PHP on uh, Apache for example so we want to isolate this one to be inside of its own partition unless you're going to make a memory disk but in this case we want to make temporary it's enough to put 512 megabyte there if you need, if the system needs to use bigger temporary, it will be put in on the other partition var instead. But we don't take it right now, so the temporary partition should be 512 in in my opinion. So let's make 512 megabyte m for megabyte, and then uh, this is file system, and then you make slash. TMP as the mount point. Now we have made the other one, and you see there A, B, and then there is no C, it begins with the D there. We continue forward. We are going to make the var mount point. This one should be at least 2 GB or more. This depends on what type of server you're making. What, what is inside of var It's for example, um, it's um, variating data like log files, 
mail spools and databases and uh, and the uh, I should be the port snap utility and things like that so it's uh, variating data like logs files etc this should be two gigabyte and if you're going to make a kernel dump this needs to be at least as big as your uh, ROM memory if you're going to make a full kernel dump but in this case we only need two gigabyte if this is a stable system we're going to make like a server so ordinary web server I keep two gigabytes it's it has been fine so far so let's create with pressing C and two G for two gigabyte file system and then slash var and then okay so var was the variating data like log files databases and so on so what i meant before was that if you're going to have a database server you probably want to have a, a bigger var category or if you need to put a lot of log files um, but that you can look in forums of FreeBSD and see what system administrators, what they prefer to have. So now the last partition will be this one on the disk, the USR. This one, I was, I've been writing, writing six gigabyte at least. Well, on FreeBSD handbook, they say eight gigabyte or more. So at least eight gigabyte. Um, I have to update this file, so um, take I would say take 8 gigabyte instead, but 6 gigabyte is functioning. The USR part is where all the user's home directors are inside, all your installed programs, such as uh, let's say Apache for the web hosting, and all the web files there, and uh, the port tree is inside of there and uh, uh, yeah program data you can call it so the rest of the system so now we put the rest of the data in usr we press c again and then we put the rest of our data that is a 16 000 megabyte file system and the mount point is slash usr and then okay now all the file systems has been added that we need for our complete installation. You can make it a little bit tuned also to make it fine tuned like to put the home directories inside of an entire disk that you put inside of this. But this is uh, this looks very good and now we've been making a manual manually partitioning. So you just continue by pressing Q 